Hello, <coughs> my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here. N I. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. The way we do so is by learning few new words every day. Today is our day number 42. Day number 42. I do not know why I had to erase the 10 digit. And I regret that, but it's okay, I'll get over it in time. The very first word we want to learn today is Incognito. In Cog Incognito. What does it mean? What well, literally incognito means without knowledge, without cognition. Well, cognition means knowledge. That's where you see. Cognito, incognito means without cognition, and cognition means knowledge. So literally it means without knowledge, without knowing something. That's what it means literally. Figuratively, metaphorically what it means is that if you're incognito, it means you are in in disguise. It means with, with one's true identity one's true identity I do not like this market at all and I do not like the color In, in disguise, it, it means with one's true identity, concealed. You understand? So if you if you if you conceal your true identity, you are incognito. That's what it is. Just that I robbed a bank, but they're never gonna catch me because I went in there dressed as Lady Gaga. I was incognito. Don't ask me who Lady Gaga is, I just picked it up yesterday. I don't know who she is. Apparently some musician or the youngster. So that's what I meant as. So they're never gonna catch me because I was incognito. I was in disguise. Let's learn the word cogn cognition. I need the room. I need to raise it. Cognition. Cognition which means to have knowledge of something. I do not know why all the markers have to decide to go all at the same time. The last three days, one by one, I've been checking them. And now I'm down to four out of the more than 50 that I had. Anyway, cognition, to have knowledge of something. Knowledge of something. It means to be aware of something. Cognition. For those of you who study a little bit of psychology, 
would be well familiar with this word cognition. It's a very simple word. And from the word cognition, which means to have knowledge, to be aware of something, from the word cognition, we have the word incognito, without knowledge. As in, I do not know who you are, I cannot tell, because you, you are you're concealing your identity. I have no knowledge of as to your identity. You are incognito, cognition. Let's go on then. Another word that is related to word cognition and cognition and incognito is Cognizant. Cog. Near. So, to be cognizant of something means to be aware of something, to be informed of something. It means to be, let me change the color. To be informed of something. To be oh, I don't know what's wrong with this particular marker, not all the other, just this one. Oh my god. If I keep at it I'm gonna be by the time we get done with the videos I'm gonna be high as a kite. Not to worry being high as a kite, it's okay, as long as I'm not drunk as a skunk. Do you understand? Although you have no knowledge, you have no knowledge as to what is in this cup, so... Anyway, to be aware of something. Cognizant. To be aware of something, to have knowledge of something. There you go. To have... knowledge of something. There you go. Cognition and from the word cognition we have cognizant. Which is an adjective. And this was a noun. If you are cognizant of something, what you are telling me is that you are aware of it, you know it. You know it very well. I used this word just uh, la yesterday's video, there. video I believe, on day number 40 or 41. I, I used this word uh, when I said that I'm cognizant of the fact that I have an accent. And sometimes, because of this accent, because of the fact that I'm a non-native speaker of the language, uh, I mispronounce some words. I'm cognizant of it. I'm fully aware of it. The noun of cognizant is, if one is cognizant of something, then one is said to have if one is cognizant of something, then one is said to have cognizance. Cognizance. I'm going to erase that adjective part in the big old letter here. And we're going to write down the pronunciation of the word on the top. Because I always like to put pronunciation. Because that is how I make sure that I do not muck it up. Every time I use that expression, mark it up with an M, I am fully cognizant of the fact that some, some people who are not familiar with this expression to mark something up, especially Americans, they hear me say, because they assume that because of my accent I'm mispronouncing it and I'm trying to say some word with an F. As a matter of fact, I got in a great deal of trouble one time in the class when I was teaching an study course at a school. And what I said was, muck it up, and some genius in the back heard something else. I went home and complained to the parents, and the parents probably complained to the headmaster, or principal as you call it. Not it rather, as you call him or her. And I had to go there and explain the whole bloody thing. People do not listen, they just make assumptions. They just sit there. So, because of the fact that I have a, I have an accent, sometimes I muck it up, the pronunciation that is. 
and, and I'm fully cognizant of it. I'm fully cognizant of it. I'm fully informed of it. I'm fully aware of it. I know it. I have the cognizance of the fact that I do not pronounce every single word the way it should be pronounced, the way it is usually pronounced by a native speaker. But, as we say in the desert, c'est la vie. And that is the end of our lesson today. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I, I, I do uh, provide personal tutoring, face-to-face -face tutoring, or over the internet via Skype, one-to-one -one tutoring, or GRE, GMAT, SAT, and TOEFL. You could go to any of these website addresses and send me an email from there. Just click on any other link for the email, and uh, it will come to me. Or you can simply go to kishmaniprep.com and you can send me an email from there as well telling me where you need the help and I'll be more than happy to do whatever it is that I can do to help you. Alright, thank you.